Hello YouTube people. Today I'm gonna show you around the Cummins engine X15 efficiency series. This is an update for the ISX engine. So let's take a tour around it. As you can see, wow, first things you can notice this crankcase filter is different compared to the older design. As you can see, it's smaller and um, now it says Envirowar, I guess. Uh, the funny thing is like, as you can see, there is some missing holes in here. I think this one is the same bracket they used to in the old ones. So, well, they still using it. It's just in a different way. Okay, our next stop is the this nice uh, way to say that this is a Cummins engine. It looks cool, right? Really nice. Now our, our next stop is on the. This is the uh, intake throttle valve. I believe it's the same like the other design. It doesn't seem like they updated. Uh, since I don't work in these trucks too much, this is a couple times I take time to look around. So we'll see. We have here the air compressor. For me, it looks the same like the older ones, so nothing to worry about new parts in there. And the power steering pump, as you can see, is the same too. And the injection pump is too. It is, I guess, completely the same, or maybe slightly different, but it goes exactly in the same position like ISX. So there you are, guys. And there you have the fuel filter. This one is exactly the same like ISX engines. So about PM, you don't have to worry about getting new filters. They are exactly the same. So don't worry about it. But if the pan of the chassis of your truck, it might come with a different filter. As you can see, this one is an international truck. So it comes with this filter. Some of them maybe they can get the Daiko 382. So that's a pretty, you know, uh, standard filter for fuel and water separator, but some manufacturer designed to get their own filters. So there you have it. One of the other things I have noticed on this engine is like, as you can see over there, there is no doser block, no air solenoid anymore. Um, I've been wondering about it and I'm gonna show you on the other side of the engine, there is no even seven injector anymore. So this is really strange because usually these trucks require to do the region, the seven injector, the doser block, the air solenoid is a requirement. But it seems like somehow Cummins has figured out how to do the injection within the engine or they have another method but it's built in the engine already. So I don't know. That's something I've been wondering too. So if you guys know, let me know down in the comments section below. As you can see, the injection is an electronic injection. All right. Nothing new to see over there because I believe Cummins has having this design for a couple years by now. So that's really nice. And as you can see, let's go up. The air filter It's curious because it seems like Freilana is new design, but okay, it works, all right. In here, you see the fan, this is a uh, pretty uh, air fan, nothing new to see over there. And the fan belts and, you know, accessory belts are exactly the same like the older ones. So that's a good thing because they update the engine, but they didn't change a lot. Like what happens with Series 60 and DD, 13, 15, and 16. They, they pretty much changed the whole thing. And this one, they just changing a couple things, they tune up, but still in general, the, the main design is still the same. All right. So now let's go around. You see, even this, let's check it out. It comes with the jello. Then to prove the oil, yeah. This is one of the things I like about Cummins because this one helps a lot to put the oil when you have just the cans. Okay, now let's go to the other side. All 
right? Then you have your alternator, all right? In the same position like the old one, you have your AC compressor, cool and source chain. So this one is like international truck. You have your old turbo. Yeah. They change a couple things, but not like completely everything. But the main thing you can notice is this. You see? Behind the inlet, the inlet not sensor, there's nothing anymore. So I've been wondering why it doesn't come with it anymore. But as I told you, it might be the engine doesn't need it anymore to generate enough heat to burn the hash. But we'll see down the road how that works, right? For now, this is a brand new engine. It only has like 2,000 miles. So we'll see how it does down the road. Other thing that I can see different is this. As you can see, this is the elbow that connects the EGR cooler with the exhaust, the, with the uh, exhaust manifold. So this part is different. I guess they changed it because they had a lot of troubles with the gaskets and all the kind of stuff. And the EGR cooler itself is now round. So, well, I think that's good for them. As you can see, water pump seems the same too. Pretty big hole thing that's really hard to replace it. You know, right? You see, it's the same thing. So, that's one of the other things that I don't see different at all. Uh, if you can see down here, the oil filter, right? I know you cannot see the number, all right? But the number is the same for the for the IS15 and the X15. They are the same thing. So don't worry about getting new parts for the oil change. You can see this one comes with the uh, when the air filter is clogged. But I don't I don't think I'm, that somebody uses it. But okay, it's there. And the EGR bulb seems to be the same too. I the I'll give me a minute. Right. This is the. Did you see? EGR ball is exactly the same like the older ones. So, you seems like many things about Cummins engine having changed. They just changed a couple things, but the main thing I can notice is just the seven injector missing, the duster block, and the air solenoid. So we'll see how that works. And that's it for today, guys. Let me know if you like my video and please comment down below. Thank you. Bye bye.